boy, is you dumb, stupid, or dumb? If you ask me, I say it's all the above. But anyway, intro. Yo, what's good, Chris Squad fam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. Or actually, it's going to be a review video because I was able to catch this video during its premiere. Uh, some of you who caught yet, um, my previous reaction from the, or my previous review, rather, from the other day, um, you might have seen me hanging out in, in the in the chat. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, very much aware as to what this video is about. I mean, it pretty much says it in the title, you know, Warner Music Artist Chase Matthew does music video with guy who raped 13-year-old girl, Red X. Just when you just when you you think this boy couldn't possibly be any dumber, he goes and pulls that shit. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this, y'all, by liking the hit hit. Well, and I, I don't know about liking it here, here, but I mean, we, we, we gonna here, here, go. Well, if you're watching this video right now, this is the moment where Chase will never hit a top 20 on the fucking charts ever again. I should have known better. Facts. But you didn't because you're fucking dumb. And ain't that the truth? Should have known better. Now your whole career is fucking done. You know, you. Spitting out some more truth. You think after all the shit that I've been through the past fucking few years, being in court, spending over a million dollars in court for no fucking reason, everyone knows it. It's all out there for everyone to see. It's for no facts. You know, whenever uh, this man speaks on some shit, he's got the receipts to back it up. Fucking reason. It's because people want to be somebody and they've all wanted to attach to me and then be cool with me, and then shit on me, and then leave to boost them up, and it's literally fucking not worked for anybody. Facts. Facts. So you got idiots like this that just fuck shit up for everybody. Yes, I know in the past video, I did say I would like to do something with Church. I would like to be on a remix with him, and I can understand him not wanting to. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if it doesn't happen, all good. I'm still fucking with Church. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to react to his stuff. I'm still going to continue to support this man. You know what I mean? And uh, fuck all those, you know what I'm saying, who did him dirty and done fuck shit up for everybody else. You know what I mean? That would not do him dirty. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, man. It's just, it's, shit is all kinds of fucked up, man. Anyway. And there's a reason for that. It's because you can't bullshit people like us, bro. You just can't do it. it, it Facts. Real recognize real and game recognize game. You know what I'm saying? You can fool... Uh, some of the people some of the time can't fool all the people all the time. Let's go There's a reason for that. It's because you can't bullshit people like us, bro. You just can't do it If you're bullshitting people fucking no Especially the kind of people that been following me for the past seven years and you know why facts That is because in people like me and the people watching this video in our life. There ain't no fucking easy way out So big time facts so when we've been doing it the hard way the whole time and we are proud of it and then you try to shit on it, that's when you get the shit thrown at you, motherfucker. <laughs> Big time facts. When you go and pull shit like that, your, your ass is finna find out that uh, apparently you love the uh, taste of shit because you like to sling the shit at all the wrong heads, you know what I'm saying? So you're, you're gonna learn to eat shit and learn to love the taste of it, bruh. Let's go. Ain't no shame in our game, dude. We've been bullshitters and we've been bullshitted. Facts and more facts. But guess what? We know how to shovel bullshit now, don't we? Now let me help. Ain't that the truth? Help you pull your big fucking jug head out of your fucking asshole, so I can remind you how a holler boy is supposed to act. Now let me remind you who the fuck I am and how the fuck I do things. So let's go back a little bit. When me and you first got together, you're riding around in this shitty fucking death trap of a Dodge Ram. Now I know what, what what he's getting at. Even if even if this was my first time viewing this, and this is something that I forgot to mention in my previous review, but uh, Church is going to basically tell the story about how he gave uh, Chase his black Ford uh, Platinum pickup truck. You know what I'm saying? Because Chase was driving around in a shitty ass pickup truck that was falling apart, 
And uh, man, so again, someone who's going out of their way to help you out and they gifted you a vehicle, a very expensive vehicle at that. And you turn around and you do all this shit to them. You fucking do them dirty when they never did a bad thing to you. Bruh. Bruh. And at the same time, I just went and bought one of the baddest motherfucking trucks in the world that I always fucking wanted. That black Ford Platinum. And you talking how... And those Ford trucks, man, they, they, they are badass trucks. I ain't gonna lie. And, I, and this is coming from someone who is not the biggest Ford fan. I mean, when it comes to all three automakers, my, my top three are as follows. GM, Chrysler and um ford you know what i'm saying now man you know this thing keeps breaking down on me and this that and the other do you think i wanted to give you the ford platinum i really didn't you know what wanted to give you the ford platinum the heart that's inside my chest wanted to give you the fucking ford platinum dude and, and you can't put a dollar sign on that you can't put no dollar value on that because a holler boy doesn't want to see somebody but chase apparently can and has you know what i mean which is fucked up I really didn't. You know what wanted to give you the Ford Platinum? The heart that's inside my chest wanted to give you the fucking Ford Platinum. Facts. Cause a holler boy doesn't want to see somebody struggling. Try Facts. I know I don't. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Let me tell y'all a little, little personal story. You know what I'm saying? Cause some of y'all, I know you're you're new to the channel. You just subbed to the channel, so you just discovered my channel. And thank you very much. Appreciate that support. But to kind of give you guys a little bit of background, there were times when uh. Some of my, my, my relatives, right? They, they didn't have a car or they were driving around in, in a, some old beat up piece of shit that was falling apart and then eventually it'll stop running on them. You know what I mean? So when they needed a ride to work, a ride to school, a ride to go grocery shopping in there, who had their back? This motherfucker right here. And these same people who I helped out now, where are they now? Don't even talk to me anymore. As a matter of fact, it's because they fucking bit my hand a long time ago. That's why. So like I said, I know what it's like to help somebody out and be betrayed. I remember I had a pickup truck. One of my cousins, he had a, he was, he had a, a, a bull python, right? He needed someone to go take him to go pick up a, a terrarium for his, his bull python. Who had his back? This motherfucker right here. Bruh. Bruh. And, and this same asshole fucking walks all, was walking all over me like I was a fucking doormat. And it got to a point where I, you know what? I had enough. And so I cut his ass off. It's like, bruh. How you, gonna, how you gonna disrespect somebody, right? And fucking be a dick to somebody who's had your back, who's helped you out. Bruh, let's go. Trying to keep his truck running to do what he's got to do. Your fucking dream was music. You can't do it riding around in a fucking big ass Dodge Ram with fucking dry rotted 38s on it. That fucking the drive shaft keeps falling out of. I fuck yeah. How, how you expect to get anywhere with a, with a fucking piece of shit truck like that? How the fuck you supposed to get to a show driving that? You see that right there? That is a holler boy. It starts getting warm outside. Me and all my homies are out running around on fucking Harleys and stuff. And your bike breaks down. I just went and bought me the first supermoto I ever bought in my life. I was excited as fuck to have it. I was like, fuck yeah, I got a supermoto. This is sick. I asked you one day, hey, you want to ride? Man, I can't. My bike broke down. I sat there for a minute. And I was like, man, I just bought that supermoto. I don't really want to give it away. But I mean, you know, dude, kid ain't got a fucking bike to ride. What did I tell you? I said, come get this supermoto. You can have it. That's a holler boy, dude. See, this, this is why it, it pisses me off whenever I hear him, you know, or whenever I see him go through the bullshit that he, he goes through. You know what I mean? This is a guy who is so loving, right? Who does a lot of things, you know what I mean? Coming straight from here, straight from the heart. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't like seeing people, you know, struggle. He doesn't like seeing people suffer. You know what I mean? And, and be and be fucking miserable, you know what I mean? And hating life and shit. So he goes out of his way to help people out. Even if it means giving somebody an expensive toy, like a supermoto bike, right? Or a Ford pickup, a Ford Platinum pickup.
You know what I mean? This guy goes through such lengths in helping others because he gives a shit about people. And people wonder why he he, he makes videos like this or, or he's just pissed off and, and needs to vent. Like I said, I've, I've helped people in my past too. Friends, family. I've gone out of my way for them. I've gone above and beyond for them and bit my hand. So like I said, I, I, can, I can relate to him when it comes to helping out others and getting burned for it. I can relate to that shit. I feel that, that, that fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. So I don't, I don't blame him for feeling the way he feels right now. If I were in his shoes, I'd, I'd probably feel the same way. Or not probably. I would feel the same way. Bruh. And it ain't because you was my artist, Dick Weed. This is who the fuck I am. And hey, young... Facts. Facts. See? Had you played your cards right, had you been a lot smarter than, you, than you're apparently behaving right now, um, bruh, bruh, life would have been a whole lot better for you. But too late now. Younger kids out there, boys, girls, I want y'all to hear me when I say this. I want to tell y'all a story real quick before we go any further. This is my favorite example of what a holler boy is. And it's because of what was noticed, who the person was, and what was done, and what the person said back to me. I used to get up on, when I used to live on North Pool in the other house, I'd get up every morning, I'd sit in my chair upstairs, and I would watch outside. I would just look outside, watch people driving down the street. My next door neighbor, I noticed he got up every morning, five o'clock, go to work, five o'clock, go to work, five o'clock, go to work, every fucking morning. Bunch of tools. Had all his work clothes on, five o'clock every morning, every morning, every morning. One morning I go upstairs, I got my coffee, I'm looking out the window, I'll never forget this. It was a cloudy day and it was fucking drizzling rain. His car wasn't in the driveway, but you know where he was at five o'clock in the morning? He was sitting on the front porch with all of his tools and all of his work clothes, waiting for some other workers to come pick him up at five o'clock in the morning. A few days go by and all those days, he was on the front porch with all of his tools at five o'clock in the morning with no car in the driveway. The workers who came to pick him up every day came at the same time. You know why? Because even if they didn't hear from him, they would know that he was reliable enough that he would be sitting on that porch waiting to go to work. One morning. Uh, yo, that, that's a real one right there. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. They pull up to get him. Hell, he would, he would see him pull onto the damn street and he would get up so they didn't even have to pull in the driveway. He just jumped in the truck and they kept going around the block. Hell yeah, hell yeah. See, that's someone who doesn't fuck around. That's someone who has his, has his head on straight and has got his priorities in order, man. Let's go. As they pulled off and he went to work, I was like, man, this dude's been on it. He's been up every day mm. with, with no car, mm. making it work. Yep. I thought to myself, what vehicle do I have that... You can put work tools in, that's easy to work on, semi-cheap on gas, that runs good enough to get him to where he needs to go. Mm. The only vehicle I had, and everyone knows I keep vehicles that are in music videos. Yep. The only vehicle I could think of that I had that would fit that category of what he's doing was my old white Tahoe that's in the music video, Miss My Buddies. I could use another in a truck And, and like I said, see, his, his is a 4x4. Four four. I could tell because it's got the hooks coming out of that, that, that chin spoiler. Um, my father, um, he had a, a green Tahoe. Pretty much the same body style, but it was a two-wheel drive. It was kind of lowered, like, I think I think it was two, three inches front, four inches rear. And it had, it came with some 17-inch uh, butt nicks. But then he later went and took those off and put some 20-inch boss wheels on it. It was a badass Tahoe. And then... Um, one day, a girl driving a Ford Mustang rear-ended him and freaking it kinked the frame and everything so bad, man. It was it was unsalvageable at that point, man. Brett. Oh, man. Bruh. Memories. I drank my coffee. I went down to the tag place in Ashland City. I got a duplicate title, and when he got home, I gave him the title of that truck because he needed it more than I did. Bro. He told me, nah. He was like, I can't take this. He said, 
He said, well, when I do get me something else, I'll just give it back to you. And I was like, don't even worry about it. This, this eliminates that problem for you. You're one of these kind of people that you deserve this shit. That's a holler boy. Facts. Facts. Like, like, you know, you go back and you listen to that song, Holler Boys. You know, we are holler boys. Holler if you need it, something done. Holler if you need a chip on the shoulder. Or a hand with a loaded gun. We'll be out that screen door, no shirt on. Leaving two black marks on a one-way road. Or my bad, one lane road. My bad. But anyway, point still made. That song is more than just a song. Those are more than just lyrics. That is something that this man lives by. This is something that not, not only does he talk, but he actually walks that shit. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I had no idea, man. Shit. Like I said, I've gone on my way for people. You know what I mean? I've done whatever I can for people. Why? Because in my heart of hearts, I always knew that that was the right thing to do. You know what I mean? I didn't care if I earned any good karma points or not. You know what I mean? I just go out of my way and help people when I can because it was the right thing to do. You know what I mean? Bruh. And plus, I like to think that those who I helped will go out of their way and return the favor and help me out in return. Even though I got burned most of the time. Didn't matter. You know what I mean? Do I do I regret doing, doing those things for people? No. Why? Because again, it's the right thing to do. Bruh. Let's go. Somebody who does something for somebody, even though it's not beneficial for themselves, out of the good facts. Like I said, I didn't care if I earned any good karma points or not. I, you know what I mean? I just, like I said, it's it's the right thing to do. I know I just said a moment ago. Yeah, I would do it because I like to think that those who I help will help me out in return. But did I expect any help in return? No. And have people done? Uh, some people done for me uh, after I done for them? Sure. My sister, I, I would never hesitate helping her out because every time I helped her out, she would always treat me to a meal. You know what I mean? Whether it was a home-cooked meal or if we were, you know, grabbing something from, from a drive-thru or, uh, or or even if it's, even if we were just getting, getting coffee and shit. Didn't matter. You know what I mean? I always I always loved helping out my, 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 my uh, sister because she was one of those ones who understands, hey, this guy didn't have to go out of his way to help me out or anything. The least I can do is feed him or get him, get him some coffee or something. You know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. Goodness of their heart, they know that it's beneficial for them, so they do it anyways. Mm -hmm. Selflessness. Yep. And you can't fucking teach that, obviously. Right. And you know what? Looking back now and knowing some of the shit that I do now, which we're about to get into here in 30 fucking seconds, I knew there was something up. When I wasn't getting invited to none of these fucking meetings. Oh, and if you guys don't believe me, why don't you Google pictures of me in these fucking meetings with Chase? Why don't you tell them to come up with some pictures of me being in these fucking meetings with Chase? There's only two pictures you're going to see. The one where I'm already sitting in my motherfucking house with him beside me. That's it. That's not a goddamn meeting. That's me in my fucking house. The other picture you're going to see is me and Chase and like four other fucking people. Guess what? That wasn't a meeting either. That was me meeting the people that he was going to be working with. So I guess I never got invited to any fucking meetings. Even when I come to him and said, yo, I want to be in these meetings too, bro. I just live right here. I'm 15 minutes from Nashville. If you're having a meeting, call me. I'll come sit in. Go find me a picture of me sitting in on a fucking meeting, bro. You're not gonna fucking find one. And you wanna know why I... Bruh, see, that's, that's, just, that's just dirty, man. That's just, that's just all kinds of wrong. Bruh. I think I wasn't in on any of these talks and I didn't know what the fuck was going on, really. Because if I was in on these meetings and I knew some shit that was going on, County Line would not be on YouTube right now, fellas. Do you want to know why it wouldn't be online right now? Here, here we go, man. We're about to get into the meat and potatoes of this thing. Let's go. I would not be on YouTube right now, fellas. Do you want to know why it wouldn't be online right now, fellas? 
Oh man, y'all are about to fucking go nuts. Me too! So the co-star that's in the music video for County Line with Chase, Chase's buddy, yeah, you're not gonna find any pictures on his Instagram of them together, but guess what? I'm about to show you a lot of them. That guy got arrested and ran from the cops because he raped a 13-year-old girl. Mm -mm. Oh my god, Chase. What the actual fuck? You know damn well we don't tolerate shit like that. Now, I'm, I'm about to go delete all my Chase reactions. Fuck that. Fuck that. You heard me right. Tonight, a man arrested in Mississippi is being brought back to see to face charges. He raped a 13-year-old girl in Hendersonville. 27-year-old Brandon Whitehurst is a suspect. He was found in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. He's being held there pending his extradition back to Sumner County. Whitehurst is from Springfield. Then to give that girl a chance, I wish I never met her. Here's this little... Yeah, well, I hope that I don't ever meet you because I would punch you right dead in your face. You know what I'm saying? They would have to lock me up for four eye on four eye hate crime. And if they and if, bruh, if they ever ask me why, well, hey man, what 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 the hell are you in here for? What are, what are you doing time for? Oh, I, I punched a dude who uh, who was an artist, was an artist. If it says on was. And he hung out with a dude who raped a 13-year-old girl. Oh. Okay. Shit. Bitch's mugshot. And when I say little bitch, I mean an actual, literal, little bitch. He's five foot four. Look at his mugshot. Man, with, with, with a face like that, I will not hesitate to freaking rearrange that mug. I'm just saying. Here's what I want to know. Why in the fuck did I know about this? Why didn't I know about this guy being your friend? Hmm? Why didn't I know about this? You know why I didn't know about this? You know why I wasn't in on this conversation? Because if I was in on this conversation, I'd have said, you get your fucking ass over there to that computer and you take that fucking music video down now. And then I would have said, and then you're gonna make a fucking video calling this motherfucker out or I'm gonna punch you in the fucking head. And you wanna know something else? Damn right, I punched them both in the fucking face and I would not stop punching them both in the fucking face I would rearrange both their mugs guys you're not gonna find any pictures of this dude and chase together before this county line video on his fucking social medias anywhere but guess what was brought to my attention tonight a fuck ton of pictures and videos of him and this fucking dude touching their ding dings together hanging out long before this county line video, so I don't even want to fucking hear old men hired in actors. Fuck you. Mm. Fuck Hell, me. I even give you a video of y'all dancing around in the fucking studio with each other. People call it heaven, some people call it hell. Yes, it's what you're making, it feels like I'm doing well. And look what else gets sent to me tonight. Damn, Chase, you have a song with this guy too? Oh wait, never mind, he's got two songs with the guy who raped a 13 year old girl. Oh yeah, everybody is gonna know. Hey, tell G. Hurst he fucking sucks. Oh, well, what do you know? He wasn't just in County Line. The guy who raped a 13-year-old girl is in another music video with Chase. Dude, I'm not fucking lying. Look. Girls with a small circle never gave up on my face. I swear to God that I heard it all from Nick Titty to Steve Fuck, man. Feels like I'm doing well. Well, I wonder how well you'll be doing now. Uh, probably not too well since your demographic is 13-year-old girls on TikTok. Not Oh no, guarantee you right now as we speak, after this video had done dropped, uh, I'm pretty sure his 
channel is <laughs> fucking tanking. I, I bet you he's losing subs at a rapid rate. His numbers are dropping at a rapid rate. Man, his numbers are dropping quicker than uh, Joe, Joe Biden's uh, approval ratings. I mean, I'm just saying. Not only that, you dumb fucking piece of shit. Why is the video still up? If you're friends with this guy and you was friends with this fucking dude and you know all this, why is that video still up? That's a pretty popular song for 13-year-old girls on TikTok. Okay? What about the 13-year-old girl that got raped, you dumb motherfucker? You know what you should do? You should take the motherfucking video down. I'll tell you why. One, because you should have enough morals to fucking get rid of it because there's a child rapist in the fucking video. Facts. There's absolutely no excuse as to why you have a child rapist on your team. No excuse. I don't give a shit. Th did that guy show any remorse for that girl? Even if he was, who gives a shit? He still made that decision to do what he did. And therefore, needs to be punished for it. Two, you should take it off for that 13-year-old girl that's got to fucking hear and see that song with that fucking dude in it all the time. But see, your brain don't work like that because you ain't cut from this cloth. You're a bitch. Facts. And if you come up to me starting some shit, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. And it Big time facts. If your friend's got something to say, well, guess what? My friends are way fucking crazier than your motherfucking friends. And anybody... Big time facts. If y'all... Y'all feeling... Y'all feeling crazy? Y'all want to fuck around and find out? Go right ahead. Everybody running with you around? I hope y'all do. I'll, I'll say that much. I hope y'all do. Down here can get knocked the fuck out too. And Hell you yeah. know why you won't delete the video and have some fucking morals, man? Because the video has big number. That's all you give a fuck about is a big fucking number. You big time facts. You don't care if there's a child rapist running around in it. You run around. Apparently not because he has, like like he said, he has a, a bunch of songs and some videos featuring the dude. Down with your fucking cross tattoo behind your ear. Excuse me, featuring the bitch. He, he's not a dude. He, 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 a, he a whole ass bitch. Here and you don't have enough decency to get rid of the video because of everything I just said. If it was me, I'd delete the video. Hell, why don't you, why don't y'all all go try to find Broadway Girls, dude? It had 50, the Broadway Girls remix with me and Chase. Yeah, it had 50 million views. You know what I did? I fucking deleted it just because I don't like him anymore. And that means I'm going to go and delete my reaction to Broadway Girls because I don't want that motherfucker anywhere, anywhere on my channel. I'm deleting all my Chase Matthew reactions and I'm deleting the Broadway Girls reactions. I don't care how many views that thing has got. Anyway. He won't even delete his little bitch ass baby video of 27 million, even though a child rapist is in it. And just to thank your first. Yeah, that's just that's just all kinds of fucked up, man. Now I see why that dude made, made the uh, the uh, deal with the devil. He, he a little demon himself. Song with Warner Music Nashville is a song called She Loves Jesus. So now you have a song out there with a guy who raped a 13 year old. Uh, the guy who raped the 13 year old is in your music video. Both of those things are still online with the guy who raped the 13 year old. And now you have a song called She Loves Jesus coming out with Warner Nashville. Who in the fuck is going to stand behind this single or any other single you're ever going to put out? Well, I can tell you this dipshit. It ain't going to be the people who go to church. No pun intended. Hell, I hope it's fucking nobody. I hope it's your next show you have. I hope every fucking member of Creek Squad that's there boos the fuck out of you so loud that no one can hear your shitty fucking songs. And by the Fuck yeah, boo his ass right out of the fucking building. Fuck that. By the way, I know your team of fairies is gonna go get their coffee and- Better yet, spread the word so nobody goes to his shows. Let him see. Oh shit, how come there's nobody here? Damn, we, we, don't, we don't fucked up. No shit! In scarfs this morning because it's kind of cold outside and they're all going to meet in a room and be like, we're totally taking him to court. Fuck all y'all. Sue me. Guess what? Make me the brokest motherfucker in Nashville, dog. I'm ready. You want to know why? Because I've already been broke before, motherfucker. And, and that's facts. 
Guess what? I know how to work. And you know what? That is also facts. I'd rather be the brokest motherfucker on the block with the most integrity mm -hmm. than the richest motherfucker who ain't respected by no motherfucking body. Facts. 615, bitches. Fuck around and find out. Oh, and by the way, you can keep the fucking Ford Platinum, asshole. I don't fucking want it back. There's a chance that a fucking child rapist sit in it. I'm good. And hey, Warner, I bet you're hella proud of your artist now, aren't you? Don't even worry about changing that fucking article. <laughs> Whoever wrote it did a great job. Bruh. Checkmate. Let's go, church. Let's go. My man got him. You know what I'm saying? Got Chase. Got that little fucking piece of shit. And uh, that, that piece of shit record company too. You know what I mean? Fuck all them. Bruh. Bruh. Someone said it in the comments on this video. Let me see if I can find that right quick. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Ryan is the ultimate fuck around and find out champ. Facts. I'm going to make sure I hit that comment what I like. Because I agree with that wholeheartedly. So yeah, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get this outro out of the way. Because I got some cleaning to do on my channel. Uh, if y'all are with this, y'all know what to do with that link for the original video. If you want to uh, watch, listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Chase Matthews and fuck that little fucking prick that, that, that he hangs around with. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Uh, I'm done with that dude and I don't want him anywhere near me either, man. I don't want any of those people anywhere near me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. So yeah. Anyway, don't forget... Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Those of you who just sub, appreciate that love. You know what I mean? And those of you who've been rocking with me that keep coming back whenever I do a reaction for church or, in this case, a review for church. Appreciate uh, all that love, Creek Squad. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to the person who said that I'm a true creek, true uh, creaker. Blech, if I could talk properly. I'm so pissed right now. Um, appreciate that love. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. And uh, don't forget, guys, um, in the description, I got um, instructions on how y'all can get a reaction request in, whether you want a guaranteed reaction or a priority reaction. Totally up to you. And uh, don't forget, underneath that, I got two store links. I got Spring Merch Store, where you can uh, select uh, any number of pieces from uh, my two store fronts that have their own unique set of collections. Uh, you can get a JJV original tee. You can get a hoodie. You can get a coffee mug, bucket hat, decals. Pretty much got all kinds of cool shit in both those storefronts. And I got a discount code uh, that y'all can use to help save y'all on your purchases. And also don't forget my affiliate link with Kula Hawaii CBD products. Uh, they will gladly ship your order out to you uh, wherever medical marijuana is legal. And so, yeah. <clears throat> got a coupon code with them too. Uh, please make sure that if you do buy from them to use that coupon code. That'll help out the channel a great deal so I can keep making quality content for you guys. You know what I mean? As I enjoy doing. And, um, yeah. And also, don't, don't, don't forget all the folks that I rock with. Am I saying that correctly? All the folks that I rock with in the folks that I rock with section. Uh, down there is a list of channels of some quality YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? That are actually uh, good friends of mine. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's, that's my fan bam. You know what I mean? Uh, make sure that you guys are showing the homies some love. I'm sure they'll greatly appreciate that. As would I. And, uh, yeah. I think I nailed everything. So, with all that being said... It is your boy, Jason JVs, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch you next one. All right. Later, Creek Squad.